Hello, Stevie. So, I am on my way to Frontier Harley Davidson today, and we're gonna go ride a Pan American. We're gonna see if it's even possible for me to ride it with my short legs. I know the, the special lowers down when you stop and stuff. We're gonna find out if my little 28 inch inseam is uh, long enough to ride a Pan American. Super excited, I wanted to ride one of these for a long time. Today's the day. Hello Stevies, we are here at Frontier Harley-Davidson because we're going to ride a Pan America for the first time today. They actually got two of them out for me. This is obviously used as their demo. Has panniers on it, the Harley-Davidson panniers. That one does not. And that one also has the knobby tires on it. Thank you to Frontier Harley-Davidson, Jason, the crew. It was actually Jason's idea for me to ride them both. As long as I can get on it. See how this works out. My short little legs. Yeah, all right, it should lower. Good. Lowered right onto the kickstand. Huh. Interesting. Very, very excited for this. There we go. Oh, oh, they got a training class going on. Cool. So one thing I do notice right away, I would have to have some taller handlebars if I bought one. Bring me back a little bit. But hey, how about this? An old-fashioned moto vlog on the channel. We haven't done this for a long time. I haven't worn my showy helmet for a long time, it seems like. Okay, the blinker is on. It is blinking. And now it's not. I like the shifter though. Now you are you got more of a mid to rear set instead of a front set as far as the foot controls go down there. Oh, he's got me. Should work, maybe. Um, okay. Modes. What did he say were the modes? This one? Nope. Mode, right there. Rain. Street. So we're going to start out in street because I know the rain mode, like, really chokes it. Um, but. He was showing me, he had me set on the off-road mode with no traction control or anything on it. So, this is, uh, no bueno. There we go. This is a used model. Did it lower? It didn't feel like it lowered much. It may have, though. Still in sport mode, though. We're going to start in street mode. Oh, the red line is 9,000. I'm going 60. Oh my goodness. So the... He called it a trigger style. Windshield control. Got a little trigger on the back of this little arm here and you can raise and lower the windshield and there are detents in between there but I, I don't know I like it as high as it will go so if you ride it like a sport bike you know, if you hold on with your knees you know you don't have to worry about holding on with your arms okay <laughs> Even in 
six gear it pulls like crazy. Oh my gosh. And I'm really impressed the 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 wind control is actually really good. It is a windy day out here today. And man, oh well let's lower the windshield. We'll see if we still feel the same way about it or not. Oh yeah, there's some definitely some more wind hitting us there. Man, that's cruise control on. Kicking back and just taking it easy. This thing is way more comfortable than I thought it was for, for this mirror that keeps wanting to join my clan. Um, you just, right there, buddy, you just stay right there, we're good. Nope, not having it. <laughs> okay, shut the cruise off, 50 mile an hour, downshift into fourth. Oh my gosh, like 6,000 RPM, it just takes off. So we should have been in third there, huh? I don't need to get a ticket on their bike. Wow! That is incredible! I mean, it's not sport bike power, but it's... It's not traditional Harley power by any means at all, you know what I mean? Wow. And as I said before, none of this would be possible without Frontier Harley Davidson and Jason, the crew, helping me line this up. I appreciate you guys. If you guys need a new bike, give them a call. Go in and see them. They are one of the top 30 dealers in the country, by the way, also. <laughs> found, the, found the red line there, didn't we? Man, that's not even in sport mode yet. I'm almost, man, I'm almost, I'm going to do it, but I'm almost scared to put it in sport. I felt it. I mean, I... I felt it in the throttle right there. So if you go back to street, let's go to rain mode. Let's go to the speed limit. Go down to, we're in rain mode. And while I'm giving it throttle, I'm going to switch it. Oh yeah, that's definitely choked. So I'm on the throttle pretty hard right there. I, I can feel it. Yeah, right there. I can. So you got to let off a little bit. But you feel a difference between rain mode and sport mode like crazy. Like rain mode is like just chokes the living crap out of the engine. There's rain mode. I'll floor it. Not really doing much. No, I'll put it in sport mode and I'll floor it. Goodness gracious. So we are going to take it through some curves up here. Nothing major. Nebraska doesn't have any major curves. I just got adjustable levers like Jay said. There's just the technology in this thing is crazy. Heated grips. I forgot I got heated grips. I'm going to turn those on. Because it is a little bit on the chilly side here. Okay, coming to a complete stop. 28 inch inseam. I am towing it. But it's not like impossible. I just put the grips on high. But it's not an impossible. I'm not like I can put my one foot down and my one foot up and flat foot it. But I am I am on my toes. You know, that doesn't matter as much when you're, when you're moving. I 
It's about 45 degrees out today. It's supposed to get up to 54. Um, the wind is like 20 to 25 mile an hour out of the northwest, I think they said. It's definitely out of the north. I can feel that. All right, let's do the, the stand-up test. <laughs> Until you crack the throttle on my Road King. You can let the RPMs draw pretty far and then lay into it, you know, and stuff. And you can feel it pull itself out of it. This one, in six gear, like 2,500, 3,000 RPM, it doesn't pull itself out as fast. There's 3,000. Yeah, it's just not there. But if I go into the third, so now I'm at 4,500. Oh, yeah! <laughs> There's a big difference there. So the bottom end torque isn't as great. So it's like, it's like riding a sport bike. You've got to have it up in the higher RPMs. Not as high as a sport bike, obviously, but the higher RPMs anyway. I love the digital dash though move that out of the way so you guys can see it I love that digital dash I gravel here but it shouldn't matter for the Pan America right yeah right there at 6,000 man that's where it just takes off wow I might redo my route so that I can uh, go a little quicker, maybe. <laughs> so, yeah, so if you're doing 60 mile an hour, or 55 is the speed limit, so I'll do 55. And if you're in six gear, you're at 3,100 or so, 3,200 maybe. And then when you lay into it, it takes a little bit. But if you kept it out of sixth, put it in fifth at 55 and this is all in sport mode by the way yeah that's a lot better a lot more so if you were on a road that was 55 mile an hour speed limit you might want to just leave it at fifth gear instead of put it in six and you could always just put it in six to get your gas mileage and stuff you're just not going to have the the oomph and passing power like you would you know all right here we go this is as good of a curve as I can get right around here. Speed limit's 45. Oh, no problem. And it like makes you want to tuck and everything, you know, just ride it like a sport bike and just be done with it. <laughs> oh man. Okay, if anybody was on the fence about one of these, you need to just buy it. Wow, oh my gosh. If you want power, this is it. I'm getting more and more comfortable in the seating position. I would need some like different bars though, you know, like T-bars or something. The heated grips are nice too, as long as you're holding on to them. Obviously. Okay, I'm gonna go in regular street mode now because this thing is almost impossible to go the speed limit on. Well, that doesn't change much. <laughs> oh man. This is the one that has the panniers on it, though. We're gonna go back and get the one that doesn't, but it does have knobbies. Yeah, 
and it's blocked. I gotta do it. I can't not do it. That is effortless. Absolutely effortless. And the controls are very nice also. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the blinker on one side thing, you know, but I understand why they do it. I mean, but you can hook your Bluetooth up to the, to the screen and everything, you know, and all that stuff. And the wind is definitely out of the north. I'm going east now, back into Lincoln, and the wind is definitely from the north. And the suspension rides good too. I mean, this road isn't the smoothest road in the world, but the suspension rides good. You know, I say it, it doesn't pick up as fast from like in six gear, or like 55 mile an hour, but that's, it's still picks up faster than like my M8 does. So at 60 mile an hour in fourth gear, you're more up around that 4,500 to 5,000, almost 5,000 RPM, 4,500 to 55. I mean, that's night and day difference right there. I just went 70. There ain't no doubt about it. This thing is cool. I would love to get it off road, but I think they're going to tell me I got to buy one if I can get it off road. What I would like to do though, I would like to take one of these on a moto camping trip just overnight because there is a campground in Nebraska that I would like to go moto camping at but it's down a dirt road Those are the best tires for, I can feel the tires slip a little bit. I said he didn't tell me I could take it off road, but he didn't tell me not to. <laughs> These also have a center stand too. For good reason. Okay. Where's the kickstand at? That's the center stand. Am I going to try to get off this thing? Find the kickstand. Oh, I got found it. Yeah. Really? I got to shut you off? Boy, that suspension's got travel for days. <clears throat> Alright. Let's talk about this. So that's my first ride on this Pan America. I am going to go back and ride another one. Um, my, 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 my thoughts so far are it's an amazing bike. It is a lot of fun to ride. I, have, I would have more fun riding this bike than I do riding my Road King, but I could ride my Road King a lot farther. Now I could change things on this, like taller handlebars and stuff like that, maybe some highway pegs somehow. And then I would be fine. Um, the seat's comfortable. <clears throat> the the automatic adjusting, the lowering and raising of itself is absolutely amazing. It it helps wonders. I am still on my toes, which I'll try to give you guys a, a glimpse of that here in just a second. I could get used to that though, I guess. So you see, I'm on my tippy toes both sides. Now I could flat foot this side, put this leg up. I mean, he didn't say not to, right?
very responsive throttle. I love when the bike lowers. That is so nice. <laughs> oh man. So much fun. Put you back in the street. There we go. Okay, so let's see how slow we gotta be going before the suspension lowers. So I gotta stop. Okay, I gotta come to a complete stop and then it does it. Alright, that's cool. Well, you can really tell when it lowers too. Cruise control is simple to use though, it's in the right spot. Um, let's see, high beams. All that's right, I and mean, everything is right here, you use most of the time. All this stuff is like your bowed buttons over here, your hazards, your on, your start, and then this is just basically uh, for Bluetooth. And so is this, that's what, oh, that's traction control, but this is good. This is a good bike. Heated grips are nice. Okay, so you can twist the throttle forward just like on my bike. Shut the cruise off, you can just twist the throttle forward. That's the way I usually shut mine off. So I will say this. Um, it is a very tall bike. Very tall. Um, but I have short legs. So that dampers that. But I think my wife could ride this thing with no problem. But I can put one foot down flat. I'm just kind of lean the bike over a little bit. It's not a heavy bike at all. Not compared to a touring bike. Very maneuverable. That's not a question at all. Maneuverability is great. The ride is phenomenal. The front end does dive a lot, but I mean, it's got a lot of travel to it. It's a lot of fun. It's it? Yeah. It, uh, it's tall, but uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun to ride. I suppose they do that so the suspension's more active in the back. Yeah, in the front too. Yeah. Um, but the suspension lowers when you stop. It does. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to ride it. Your thoughts on that thing? So, it's got so much power. <laughs> it's, it's, got a lot of <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I was riding it like I usually ride my M8, you know, around 2,000 RPM or whatever, you know, and then you twist in through it and you're like, well, it's got a little bit, but it isn't as impressive as I thought. And you downshift into third and then you roll onto it at 55 and it wants to pull the front end off the ground mm -hmm. and it's, it's amazing. It's pretty crazy. Did you go through the field or anything at all? No. Or anything like that? No. I should have. You should have. <laughs> I'm gonna go ride the one with knobbies on it next. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely do that on that one. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to do that or not. Well, Brett, when he goes, cause he has one too. Mm -hmm. so when he goes on test rides, he goes, follow me. He goes, don't go to the road, follow me. And he'll just cut across. Really? It takes off. Yep. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, they stop and they go to the road. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah. A lot of technology in that thing. There's a ton of technology in it. All right. Well, I'm gonna go take that other one awesome, out and then I'll be right back. I'll tell him you said I could. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, this one I can just get on and regular straddling. <laughs> Good looking bike with that nice engine. Good. Okay. 
Oh, you can really feel those knobbies. I like the black paint a little bit better. If I'm being picky. Alright, I'm going to turn the heated grips on too. Set the old cruise control. On the speed limit. Oh, you know, with the knobbies, it's not as stable. off the ground. So as you can see, this one is obviously black. Um, that's the major difference. No panniers. Man, it's cool though. It looks cool. It looks way cooler with the knobbies on it though. That's for the show. Yeah. Yeah, this one I could just swing my leg over. I like that. I think I would get one without the panniers. And then just put a regular bag in my, you know, just strap a bag to the back seat. I get it. I get it. You can definitely hear those knobbies. Alright, that's going to do it for the riding portion. I'm going to go park this and. Yeah. See if I can back this one up. <laughs> I'm not very good at backing up that other one. I'm going to just put it right here. Oh, that's cool. I didn't notice that. Huh. All right, I'll be with you guys here in a second. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for the ride of the Pan America here at Frontier Harley-Davidson. They are busy today. Thank you again, Jace, everybody here that that uh, helped make this possible. Appreciate you all. Uh, Pan America is an absolute ton of fun. I'll do some more thoughts and reviews on it maybe a little bit later on. If you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool, and we'll see you on the road.